Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Craig Neeson. This is Craig Neeson Photography, where we do videos dealing with landscape, cityscape, and travel photography, as well as my opinion on some gear that I'm checking out from time to time. Right now, I'm at a location for my 12 significant photos project. Am I gonna be able to make a photo in 50 degree weather with bluebird skies, no snow really on the ground to say, and naked trees? That's the question of the day. So this is one of the benefits of this 12 significant photos project. I've been here a couple of times in 2021. It's a location that Shelly and I frequented quite a bit in 2020. This is my first visit back here in 2022. I came up here looking for a good photograph of part of this oak grove. This area is classified as one of the oldest old growth groves of oak trees still standing in Northwest Missouri. They're trying to maintain it to uh, what it kind of looked like pre-Euro-American uh, influence on the continent. So it's, it's a really cool place to explore. They do want you to try to stick close to the path. Um, there's been a few windstorms that have taken out quite a few of the trees and the path has changed considerably since the last time I was here. They have tried to remark it with new blazings, but I don't think people are quite following it. It's a beautiful place in spring. Lots of wildflowers pop up out here. Some that you don't see in a lot of other places in uh, Missouri, which is nice. So we will definitely be coming back up here for that. But right now I'm on the hunt for a naked grouping of trees and I'm hoping that they haven't been fell by winds. So it looks like we had some really strong winds out of the north northwest that came through here and snapped uh, some trees mm, maybe six feet up. There's one behind me here. That's about six feet off the ground and it's snapped over. Other ones, the tops are just gone and scattered across the ground. That's nature for you. And this isn't a very big area, so hopefully, I'm really hopeful that that, uh, that grove is still intact. Yeah, so I'm definitely here at the wrong time of day. And the conditions aren't exactly perfect. I kind of figured that when I left the house. But today's intent was really to get out of the house, get out to one of my locations, and look for a photographic composition that I could come back to in the future. I really like this part of the grove behind me. It's spread out. It doesn't have as much undergrowth in it. And I think there's a photograph there. I really do. It depends on the conditions. The conditions that would be really cool would be fog or mist back here. The problem is this is about an hour trip from home and there's no car park or car pull up. It's literally, you pull off the side of the road and it's a fairly busy state road, two lane state road at that. So I, I don't know that I really wanna be parking the vehicle out there in those conditions because sometimes when we have those conditions especially this time of year the roads freeze up so not ideal but this is definitely the portion of the woodland here that i really like and there is a photograph there it's just a question of which conditions i want to try to photograph it in i may take a snapshot of it here just to show you and here's that snapshot that i was talking about in the woods it's lacking something Maybe it's cooler when the wildflowers are in bloom. I take back what I said. I think I actually got a composition today. And I think I got one that I've been looking at for quite a while. You have to have the right directionality of side light coming in on these trees back behind me here. If you don't have that, you don't get that sense of depth. And what I've done in this photograph is I bookended the photograph with two larger oaks, zoomed in in the distance into some arcescent leaves and a whitish trunk that's coming off the back. 
I think it will work as a composition and with the light going in and out of these high clouds like it is, it actually gave me a little bit more of the quality of light that I've been looking for at this location. So I'm really hoping it turns out. Either way, I'm gonna show it to you because that's just the way I'm gonna be today. Um, wow. So this location is paying off. <sighs> wow. And on top of it, a gorgeous day in late February to get out of the house, go for a hike and uh, make some photographs. So here's the raw image again. I already pointed out the book ending that I did and the marcescent leaves in the background. I like the composition. I think the light could have been a little bit better, but as I said in the field, the clouds were coming in and it was giving me a little bit more to work with. There's a better composition here. I know there is. I'll return to this later on. I like the post-process version of it. I was able to do a little bit more with contrast, a little dodging and burning in here. It allowed me to remove some of the distractions in the image. I know there's a better photo to be made here. Let's discuss it in a comment down below. So I made it back to the bridge that goes over the dry creek bed. It's mostly dry, except for after we've had precipitation. It's like most streams here in Missouri. They're not always flowing. Some of them do flow consistently, but not all of them. The ones that do flow are generally spring fed, even up here in the northwest part of the state. So I made it back here where I saw some ice formations around the bridge in this dry creek bed. They looked pretty cool. I got a couple of them. I'll show you those photos now. One of them's of the far bank there. There's some cool looking roots that are coming out of the ice and it looks like some bunny tracks in the, what's left of the snow that's covering the ice there. So here are those photos right now. So for this first composition, we're straddling the bridge and shooting straight down. This is the raw image. There's a few things that are distracting. That rock in the upper left, as well as the leaf that's barely poking through the frozen ice there. I wanted more of a yin yang fall winter feel to this photograph. So I cropped it as a square. That gave me that feeling, as you can see in the processed image here on the right side of the screen. It also removed some of the distractions that I had, the elements that made my eye go away from the main subject, which is that line of ice between the totally frozen water and the leaves. I feel that this is the strongest composition that I came away with that day, hiking through the oak grove. I really like it a lot. Let me know what you think. So for composition number two of the ice in the creek, the intent, or what drew me into this photograph, were the bunny tracks and the roots of the tree coming out of the bank. I feel that there's a lot of chaos in this image. It's almost overwhelming, overpowering, too loud in my mind. I cropped it down to a 16 by nine crop. That removed some of the chaos from the image, but there's still a little bit too much clutter, too much distraction. Let me know what you think. How would you handle this? Would you even bother making this photograph? Or would you wait until a different time of year? Like I said, the bunny traps were a key portion of this photograph. It's really what drew me to make this one. It's not really portfolio worthy, but I thought I'd share it anyway. Well, I'm pretty sure that I made a couple photographs that I'm happy with today, at least from the back of the camera. This is a pretty good location for the 12 significant photos challenge that I'm involved with right now. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, I'm at Craig Neeson. I will leave a link down in the description below, as well as the hashtag for the group. It's 12 in 12 challenge over on Instagram. You can check out everybody's photos over there, not just mine, which is kind of cool. So you can see what the whole group is doing. Chris Sale really inspired me to get going on this project, and I have to say I've made it out every week, and I've made a photo. I may not have made a video every week, but I have made a photo every week. <sighs> what a great afternoon to get out of the house, do some hiking, and some photography. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button and ding the bell for future notifications. That way you know when new videos come out and give me a big thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.